Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel guys and this is going to be your monthly tarot reading for May 2018. So five card spread, the first one is going to, sh uh, it, it, this is going to show up the, the month itself or this is a general card for the month. The second card does expresses <clears throat> the general monthly outlook or the things we can achieve during that particular month. The third card shows up the best possible approach toward the situations during the month. The fourth card does expresses the challenges that one is going to face during the month. And the last one shows up <clears throat> the long term effect of this month or when you capitalize on all that how is going to reflect to you in a long run. So the first card here as a, a topic of the month, we do have the Empress card. Now, <clears throat> when I see that card, first thing, first things that comes to our mind, especially to a tarot reader, that is a, a pregnancy. So uh, what I like to say is that those who want to get pregnant, I think that this is going to be a very fertile month. And as I am saying fertile month, it doesn't have to be only about pregnancy. The fertility can, uh, <clears throat> can thrive every everywhere, in career, in one relationship, in friendship as well, in private businesses. This month is going to place you in a very comfortable spot because the Empress is all about comfortability. It is all about you um, being calm enough, enough based on uh, your surrounding circumstances. So there won't be any tension is what I'm trying to say. And thus it is a amount of maturity as well <clears throat> in which you will be able to make a, a very balanced decision decisions regarding what kind of direction you need to go on moving forward. And on top of that, the, the Empress is a card giving you the capabilities to reap what you have sown in the past, either good or bad. But uh, this card is also, the, the, the deeper level of the card is about planning, especially talking about career-wise, it is a, about big plans for the future. So if you haven't figured it out or you don't have any plans, um, in case you do have a private business, you know, or you're working in general, guys, uh, this month is going to be a, a very crucial for you Geminis to... Um, you know, to reprioritize things into your career and to basically uh, scratch out probably your entire year moving on forward in career, uh, in career level. Now the next card uh, that shows, as I said, the outlook of the month and this is the Four of Pentacles, so this is what the month can be for you. Are very lucrative. First things first, this card points to monetary success. So out of these plans, these combs of wavering here, uh, <clears throat> the comfortable position and the, the um, reaping of your harvest, all right, you can capitalize on and uh, kind of like obtain wealth fortune, you know, money or a certain position because the Four of Pentacles is not only about money, it could be also regarding a position, a very solid position, kind of like, a, you know, getting a promoted and uh, signing up a long-term contract on that promotion or finding a new job, not on a temporary contract, but on a permanent one, you know, etc etc so you can definitely can go for those things and you can achieve them in a certain way now the four of pentacles as well point uh, as well points to taking on a defensive position as you can see the man here sitting now he is defending himself uh, with or taking on a defensive position and this defending defending position regards your zone of comfort uh, your personal space and the position itself you know regarding your career or your relationship in other words you need to be you need to show yourself very strong in front of people so they don't even think about trying to infiltrate your personal space or trying to sabotage some of your works <clears throat> some of your works you know or some of the enterprises you are, are planning here in the Empress to uh, to execute you at that month a very potent month it is what we do have for you Gemini to uh, make yourself rock solid, if I may say that way, especially in the material world, like I said, in money or in a position wise. And then the next card is um, 
the best possible approach you can do toward the situation and we do have another pentacle card or another earth card so uh, yeah, this is about working a lot guys I mean as you can see what the guy is doing here the guy is making money so this is what you need to do at that point work hard so you can cash on it it's, and it is also about learning skills all right how you can be generally better in in your career or in your relationship but i do believe that this card reflects those who are lonely more okay so it is a about call for obtaining stability into one personal life and when it comes to a personal life and, and, and a person is single you know and it's craving for to be loved and to be in a relationship this card here signifies uh, <clears throat> the readiness to step out in the world and to start uh, inviting love in one's life that being said for you Gemini's who are lonely and who are single this card here the best possible approach for your situation is to recognize that it is enough and you don't have to be single anymore you know thus you need to step out and start dating it is all about that but in general guys <clears throat> The car points that um, it will be a slow but steady process, you know, it will have ups and downs, so you should not be discouraged by certain setbacks because. Um, in a very old deck, uh, in in a very old deck, instead of a guy making money, this uh, card is uh, described as a blacksmith. And as you know, the, before the the iron is forged, it goes through fire and it goes through water. So it goes through ups and downs before it gets quenched and it becomes a, a solid piece you know a solid functional piece that being said don't get discouraged it is all about trying and learning from those tries you're gonna do until you do what you want to do the way you want to do it and then we do uh, we do go to the um, challenges and four of pa four of cups is not really a challenge here it is just the month is going to be very trivial for what it seems i mean you kind of saw these things coming and there won't be any surprises along the way so for some people this ain't going to be even a challenge guys but it's going to be a most welcome circumstances but uh, for these who likes activities you know who likes surprises and they likes variety into their environment that is not going to be a month of varieties and i think i have a explain that in these three cards guys it will be a rock solid month where one works very hard where one uh, it's really contributing very much to um, kind of define their uh, as I said here <clears throat> comfort zone and as well a, a rock solid position and this uh, um, this kind of like depraves the month from uh, experiencing certain surprises and uh, things that I cannot say evaluate you emotionally but are going to kind of like put versatility or exert versatility into your daily environment so I could say that you know, from another perspective this could be a rather boring month but the boredom here is going to pay off big time and last but not least we do have how this is going to um, reflect your how this uh, is going to develop in the long run we have the six of pentacles so the six of pentacles is about a, a very lucrative activities that you may have which we do see here so that is going to be based on your position you are going to establish the rock solid position even furthermore you will have a even greater lucrative <clears throat> possibilities to move on forward and those lucrative possibilities is going to also give you a lot of following now people were going to depend on you you are the merchant here guys you are the one with the money you are the one with capabilities and a lot of fates of people will depend on you you know and uh, <clears throat> with that being said i do think that you're gonna do very well with that because you very well know here with the empress <clears throat> about compassion you very well know about what is just you know and you will maintain that uh, equilibrium which is in between those who are in power and those who depend on those who are in power all right and you will be the one in power uh, based on that particular month so <clears throat> 
this car points as well that you need to kind of like uh, think in a big scale all right you do you will have the resources not just to experiment but to allow yourself to be a little bit more bold with uh, with creating on a new projects I'm talking about career wise and with uh, creating about new enterprises now this is as I said mostly career orientated month guys but in case it is it is a about relationship here uh, for existing one is going to to go a, a very, um, how can I, consolidating state of the relationship to a point where um, you will be happy that you do have that relationship, you know, but in the same time, you would want to have a little bit more varieties in it in a sense that you will want to have that same thrill when you have been pleasantly surprised, etc., etc. And that ain't going to happen during that month, guys, because it's about establishing the comfort zone and comfort zone, everything is predictable. But um, afterwards, with the Six of Pentacles, this is about support that you can have from your partner and your partner can have from you, you know, unconditional on that point, uh, which uh, you I and they are going to support each other through a, a tough periods of time, which may not happen, all right, because the, this card does not shows up a, a hard periods of time, but it does shows that in should they uh, exist, then you will have the support of your partner based on those cards over here or those events which are happening. So uh, <clears throat> I do think all, all in all that for you, Gemini, it is a very a uh, good month in a sense of where you are going to establish a, a very solid positions as i said guys especially career wise very lucrative month and uh, those who are singles as well just go out and start dating people and you're gonna see that you will have not just one but many uh, suitors coming in your way that being said, this was uh, your tarot reading Gemini for May 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rad signing out now. See you next time. Bye.